Hi, I'm Christine Benz. I'm here at the Vanguard Die Hards Conference in San Diego, and I'm happy to be sitting here with Jack Bogle, who is really the epicenter of this conference. Something. Jack, thanks for being here. Let's talk about the current market environment. It's crazy. Give us your take on what's going on and what do you think investors should be doing? Well, of course, I've only been in business, this business, for 57 years, uh, and I have never seen anything like it in my life. I've never seen anything like the amount of speculation that's going on in the market, which is basically twice as much stock trading, twice as much turnover as we had in 1929, the previous high. And uh, we have these frequent days. We've had 37 of them in the last year where the market's gone up or down 2% uh, or more. And uh, when I came into this business in 1951, we might have had three or four days a year like that. 12 times as many wild and woolly days as history would have said. So we've just, we've taken the whole focus of market participation in our capitalistic system here in the US uh, from one of investment to one of speculation. And I happen to think that's a tragedy in which the investors are the losers and which of course, somebody's a winner, Wall Street wins. Uh, they make $650 billion a year in fees and commissions and all that kind of thing, which means that investors lose that much to the market. So it's, it's a uh, system that's crying out for change, although I never would have guessed the change would be so abrupt. I never would have guessed the speculation would have been so rampant. I never would have guessed that credit would be so easy. I never would have guessed that credit standards would be so devastatingly low. So what, what do you think are the solutions? Well, unfortunately, the one solution that we're going to get is government intervention. And I don't think there are very many people that really like or look forward to government intervention. I don't know anybody that thinks the government can do a better job than the private enterprise side of the system. Well, in the case of the financial system, they certainly can't do a worse job. But uh, the government is the only vehicle, the only body, the only source of liquidity we have left. So the government has no choice but to intervene. This is, in fact, the greatest financial crisis since the Great Depression. So one thing I've been thinking about, if you are not a speculative investor, if you're a long-term investor, and yet there are these speculative investors buffeting your returns about, what should your reaction be? Should be, you be doing anything differently? Uh, I think basically you should not be doing anything differently. I mean, investment is a pretty simple thing. Investment is owning businesses, or I would say being an inveterate index fund person, owning all of American business, owning every company in America, uh, letting capitalism do its work. Uh, those companies will grow at probably around 7% a year. They'll pay you at about a 2.5, somewhat lower than history, but a 2.5% dividend yield. And that should, over time, bail you out of anything that happens because of the wild swings. I mean, if you visualize investment as growing in kind of a steady line, which it does, and visualize the crazy market as being all these jags up and down around this steady line, upward, upward, always upward, I think, uh, then you've got to say, I know I'm not smart enough to get out at the high. I know I'm not smart enough to get back in at the low. So I'm just going to stay the course, as we would say at Vanguard, and hang on through all that. And importantly, if I'm trying to accumulate money for retirement, or to buy a home, or to educate my children, what you want to do is keep investing. And you know, say, how can I keep investing the day that the market goes down 600 points? That's the greatest time in the world to invest. It's certainly better, better than doing it the day before, before it goes down 600 points. And I think, I think people have lost sight of the fact that a sharp market decline is, of course it's bad for sellers, but it's good for buyers. And since the stock market is the interaction of sellers and buyers, it's always good for somebody. Right. <laughs>